well, I'm on my way to the Paseo del Prado, which is actually one of the main boulevards here in Madrid and known for the many museums and touristic spots in the area. For example, the Golden Triangle of Art, which consists the Reina Sofia Museum, the Thyssen Bornemisza Museum, and of course the Prado Museum. Absolutely worth checking out when in Madrid. The Reina Sofia Museum is mainly dedicated to Spanish art. It has some paintings of my favorite artist, Pablo Picasso. Unfortunately, inside the museum, you cannot film those rooms because it's not allowed. So I cannot show it to you, but it's an awesome museum if you want to visit it. It's a part of the Golden Triangle. Yeah. Well, I'm standing here at Puente de Toledo, built in Baroque style between 1718 and 1732. And uh, here we have the beautiful Parque Madrid Rio. And uh, there the Manzanares River. Beautiful area here. Beautiful bridge as well. So let's go take a walk around in the park. Well, I'm having my walk here at Parque Madrid Rio, which was built between 2006 and 2012. It was actually one of the most demanding greening projects in Europe with an estimated cost of 4 billion euros. But it's a really beautiful area, like you can see. So another beautiful gate here, the Puerta de Toledo. So right now I will visit the Real Basilica de San Francisco El Grande. It's this church. It doesn't look so pretty from the outside, 
but uh, I heard that the inside is wonderful so let's check it out in neoclassical style and actually the dome just look at the dome it's actually the largest dome in Spain and one of the largest in Europe as well I think the fourth largest or something like that here we have the main altar just look at this Wow, stunning, just stunning. So I just finished visiting the Basilica and I have to say on the outside it looks like nothing special, it's even not beautiful. But once you go inside, what I saw there, it's one of the most beautiful churches I ever saw inside. It's like painted everywhere, it's like, oh my god, so amazing, so beautiful. So if you want to visit this, I can only recommend it very beautiful at this time it was five euro entrance so it is not that expensive so check it out it's really worth it If you are looking for a unique place to lunch or dine, Sobrino de Boutin is for sure a good place to check out. It's actually the oldest restaurant in the world, founded in 1725. So let's see if they have a table. It's the uh, stairs. Yeah. Uh, it's going to the original cellars in 1725. Oh. Since 16th century, excuse me. 16th century? Yeah, 1560. Oh! 1560, between 1560 and 1590. All these areas around the, the downtown in Madrid are like this. With yeah, the, it's very With nice. the bricks on, on top. Very beautiful place. Maybe those, those uh, cellars are the biggest uh, around Madrid and the most ancient because here was the 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 exit of the city in that age and there was a um, a door big door there yeah that was the puerta cerrada oh nice puerta nice. cerrada door this is original since 1725 yes, it's an arabian novel the same entrance and here they actually cook the pigs in yes. this oven yeah it's, it's cooking since 1725 almost 300 years and we use green for make the piglets and we put the flavors with the, with the spicy and the uh, wines something like that yeah it's very nice pepper with pepper some salt 
I think I will try some of the pig. <laughs> yeah, it's our speciality. Yeah. You have to try it. And look at the stone. Yeah. Jeez. So this will be my table. Still gonna wait here for my guest. So let's start with something to drink. I'm now gonna try those croquettas and see how good they are. Really nice. I'm gonna take a big piece now. Mm. Very good. So now I'm gonna try their speciality, some pork. I think it will be really nice. The pig is really juicy and so tender under this crispy skin with the potato so that was a nice meal it's another thing i can check off of my bucket list eating in the world's oldest restaurant check <laughs> Not so far from the famous Puerta del Sol is this beautiful Plaza Mayor. Just look how nice this is. The beautiful square. This lovely building here. With some sort of paintings on the walls. Very beautiful. Very nice. And here is my friend today. How Hello. are you? I'm fine. I'm Nofi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. She's very friendly, by the way. <laughs> I'm really happy she decided to give me this tour. <laughs> yes. So yeah, let's walk around some more then. I'm here at the Mercato de San Miguel and uh, I have to say unfortunately it's closed and they have so much different kinds of tapas there it would have been so yummy for my fat tummy but unfortunately not <laughs> It was back in 1561 when the capital of Spain transferred from Toledo to Madrid. However, the capital of Madrid did not have a cathedral yet. And uh, then they made this one here. Beautiful cathedral. So there were plans to build a cathedral in Madrid since the 16th century. However, the construction only started in 1883 and it lasted 110 years to complete so it was only fully completed in 1993 that's impressive right so let's take a look inside the cathedral then
So I'm here at the Royal Palace in Madrid. It's actually the largest palace in the world by floor size. To give you an idea, inside you can find 3,418 rooms. It's like twice the size of Versailles and the Buckingham Palace. Impressive, right? Just look at this. Beautiful. And uh, I'm looking for my princess, so where is my princess? Because I want to dance here at this palace. Oh, there she is! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Would you like to dance in the palace? Oh, yes! Oh, Let's yes? Dance. Let's okay. Dance. Then we have to beat a huge queue, eh? <laughs> oh my god, no! I don't want to dance anymore! Yeah, oh, me neither. Man. This here are the Sabatini Gardens. Unfortunately, they're close to the public. Like you can see, they're working there. And it's just next to Plaza España. So yeah, not much to do about it. But it's a nice place, I guess. It's really beautiful. Like when they finish, uh, it, should be, it should be possible to visit. And it's really beautiful. I love it. It's yeah. one of the best places in Madrid. Yeah, so you hear it. Robbie Travels again got unlucky in his trip <laughs> but of course we keep on smiling the Teatro Real here very beautiful theater the Plaza Oriente was built in 1844 and is located just between the Teatro Real and the Royal Palace right here in front of me we also have here the statue of Philip IV and this is a beautiful area you see somebody making their cartoons people relaxing here very hot weather again very beautiful area I love my trip to Madrid meet many nice people here people are so friendly yeah awesome city well, this is not how I expect my uh, evening to end with a shower like this. The gates are open. But it is refreshing after the heat. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I think there will be not much vlogging anymore for today in this weather. So take care guys and see you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Wanna say something? Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>